What's up, good people? How y'all doing this morning? I'm out here once again, getting that health in. Four miles, moving this body, keeping this temple strong. Beautiful day, man. Sunny, don't really have a lot of wind noise. Hopefully we can get through this live stream without all the wind noise. And I know, Richard, you can go get a mic to prevent the wind noise. I know, guys. I'm just old school. I just like doing it the way I like doing it. Right? But back to this beautiful day, man. It's, it's sunny. Pretty much ain't a cloud in the sky, man. Just a great time to be out here getting some exercise in and keeping the temple strong, keeping the temple healthy. Because you guys know, without health, there's no wealth. That's why I tell y'all after every video, stay healthy, get wealthy. But the two go together. So again, as I always do in these morning videos, I gotta let you guys know, get yourself out here and move your body. Get you some exercise in. Do you some stretching. Get your diet under control. I know a lot of people don't like the word diet, but just healthy eating habits. Let's, let's, let's call it that from now on. Healthy eating habits. And not worry about calling it a diet because that's not really what it is. It's really healthy eating habits, right? And if you're having trouble trying to decide what healthy eating habits are. First thing I would do is do a little research. There's a lot of good information out there online, man, that can assist you when it comes to trying to figure out what is healthy eating habits. I had to do that. Now, when I buy stuff, I, I make sure I turn it around and look at the ingredients, right? I look at what they're putting in that particular food I'm getting ready to eat. And of course, can't go wrong with vegetables. Can't go wrong with fruit. I guess certain fruit, right? And of course, you got to put a lot of water into the temple because the temple is made up of 70% water. So you got to put water in the temple, guys. You can't shortcut that. Well, I don't like drinking water. Well, your body is 70% water, so whether you like it or not, drink it. I ain't the big fan of water, but I drink it. That's all I drink is water and a little bit of 100% organic orange juice and a cup of coffee every morning. That's pretty much all I do. But I do that so that I can keep this temple healthy, so that I can enjoy this wealth. I ain't no need of me building wealth and running hard and get to the end of the rainbow and I can't enjoy the wealth because I ain't healthy. I mean, what good is that? So make sure you get you some exercise in today, guys. If you want up to 15 free stocks, Moomoo is going to give you up to 15 free stocks when you open a new Moomoo brokerage account. You put $100 in that brokerage account, they're going to give you five free stocks. You put $1,000 in that brokerage account, they're going to give you 15 free stocks. There's a link down in the description box. Go click on that Moomoo Moo link. Open up that Moomoo Moo account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. Guys, hit that thumbs up button for me. Lock it in with a thumbs up. We're getting ready to get into this, this, this wealth transfer blueprint that I'm gonna be talking about pretty much every day for 2024. I don't want nobody to miss out on this, this wealth transfer that's happening. It's already happening, guys. I'm already experiencing a, a wealth jump just in the first month and a half of 2024. I'm already experiencing a wealth jump just because of the investing I've been doing in January and the first part of February. I already have seen my net worth jump, guys, because this is what's gonna happen this year. We're gonna have a wealth transfer. I'm gonna be a part of it. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you guys through 
once you have a thousand dollars what three assets you should be buying now when i say a thousand dollars guys that's the initial investment but again we're working on repetition here so we can't just stop with a thousand dollars you got to do a thousand dollars every month and i know some of y'all are going to say richard i don't have a thousand dollars every month well guess what you're going to get yourself to a point where you do have a thousand dollars every month we're going to talk about that too but but the three assets that I'm going to be talking about are all paper assets. And these paper assets are heavy hitters. Like I said, I've been, I've been investing in these three assets since January. Two ETFs, seven individual stocks. Right? Now, I'm no expert, guys, when it comes to the stock market thing. But I am a student of history. And by being a student of history, I know exactly what my odds are when I invest in the stock market, right? Because I go look at the historical history of these investments that I put my money in. So these two ETFs that I'm going to talk to you about, I've already done the, I've already done the research on them. I looked at the history, the seven individual stocks that I'm going to talk about. I've already done the research. I've already looked at the history. Now, history doesn't always predict what's going to happen in the future, but it gives us a good indication of what these investments are able to do. And if you take $1,000 a month over the next 10 years and you get at least an 8% rate of return, you're going to have over $250,000 in this particular investment. So that's what we want to talk about. We want to talk about taking you from zero to over $200,000 in net worth in 10 years. But you gotta discipline yourself. You gotta stay consistent and you gotta stay patient, right? Now, if you do that, you're gonna win and you're gonna win big. Richard, how can you guarantee that? Well, I can't guarantee it. But see, I'm an optimist. I'm not a pessimist. I'm one of these guys that look at the glass half full, not half empty. It's all up here, guys, right? What you, what you let in comes out. I'm only gonna let positive thoughts in. See, I can control that. You can control what you think too. I, I'm only gonna let things in that, 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 that are positive. I'm not letting negative things in my life. So therefore, when I'm talking about building wealth, why would I sit around and be negative about building wealth? No, I'm gonna be positive about building wealth, right? I'm gonna manifest what I want. My creator has given me power to do that. God has given me power to manifest whatever I want. I just speak it in his name. Right? And if I'm willing to do the work, he'll give it to me. I recommend you guys take that approach. Don't be pessimistic. Oh, a thousand dollars. How in the world am I going to get that? See, you already defeated yourself. There's a million ways you can make a thousand dollars a month. Side hustle. A million ways, guys. Now, here's the problem, though. A lot of us don't want to do those million ways. We want to just sit around and do nothing and get $1,000 a month. It ain't going to work. You got to get out there and hustle. I don't care if you got to go pressure wash people's driveways on the weekends. Who cares? I'm trying to get to that 200 k in 10 years at that 8% rate of return on my $1,000 a month. That's side hustle money for most of us. That's not your primary salary. That's side hustle money. So if you don't have $1,000 a month in your current budget, first thing I'm gonna tell you to do is look at your budget. This, if you ain't got $1,000 a month, guys, to invest right now, let's be honest, something wrong with your budget, something wrong with something in your financial system. It ain't right. All of us should have $1,000 a month to invest. And if we don't, we gotta look at our financial system that we're currently living under because it ain't right. So that's the number one thing you gotta do before we talk about these three assets. You gotta get your financial life in order. You gotta do a financial checkup from the neck up. Because if you ain't got $1,000 to invest right now, guys, honestly, you ain't doing something right financially. And that's just the truth. A lot of us ain't gonna wanna hear that, but it's the truth. 
oh, I'm doing everything I can. You may be doing everything you can, but maybe what you're doing is wrong. Maybe you need to change what you're doing. Last night, when I had the live stream, and we were talking about retirement and how much money you're gonna need for retirement. I told you guys, whatever activities you're doing, if they're not, if you don't have a thousand dollars a month left over to invest in your future, the activities that you're doing, you need to change them. You need to find new activities because those activities you're doing right now ain't putting no money in your pocket. Those activities you're doing right now ain't doing nothing but taking money out of your pocket. So you got to do a financial checkup from the neck up to make sure you're ready to invest $1,000 a month. Because if you can't invest $1,000 a month right now, guys, then, then it's going to be tough to get to where you need to get to in 10 years. We want to get there in 10 years. Some people might say, well, Richard, I don't want to get there in 10 years. I want to get there in five. Guess what? Double it up. Instead of putting in a thousand a month, put in two thousand a month, twenty five hundred a month. You get there fast. You'll get there in five years. But I want to get there in three years. Triple it up. Instead of putting in a thousand, put in three thousand a month, forty five hundred a month. It's only money. All we got to do is go out and make it and keep it and multiply it, right? So, so that's the number one thing you got to do before we can talk about these assets. You got to get your filter system right. You got to get your, your money making skills right. You got to get your money making behavior right. You got to start thinking like a millionaire, even though you may not be one. Start thinking like one. Most millionaires that I've met over my lifetime, guys, They've been optimistic people. They've been people that believe if someone else has already done it, they can do it too. See, glass half full, not glass half empty. Don't be a glass half empty person. Be a glass half full. Be positive and optimistic about this world. You're already here. You might as well be po positive and optimistic, right? It's, it's a better life that way. A lot of us, we just live in the negative and our life is miserable because we live in the negative and we wonder why we live in the negative. Think about what you're listening to every day. Thinking about what you're watching every day. Think about the people that you allow in your life. Think about the people you allow to speak into your life. Words are powerful, guys. Words are powerful. They carry a big stick. So if you're letting someone speak negativity in your life, they're, they're speaking things into your life that, that you, you, you don't want in your life. Oh, I, I don't really hang around nobody like that, but who are you watching on Instagram? Who are you listening to on Instagram? Who are you listening to on TikTok? What you're looking at on TikTok? What you're looking at on Instagram? See, that's speaking into your life, guys. Whoever you're listening to, they are speaking into your life, whether you know it or not, from a subconscious standpoint. You don't think so on the conscious level, but on the subconscious level, it's starting to get into the filter system. See, the filter system operates on a conscious level and an unconscious level, guys. Typically on the conscious level, that's us. We know that. We Okay, I'm walking down the street. I see this pole right here. I'm on the conscious level. But also my brain and my filter system is working on an unconscious level, right? It's pointing me in the direction of the things that are coming out of my mind. So if I'm thinking about negative stuff all the time, guess what the unconscious is doing to my filter system? It's pointing me in the direction of all that negative stuff. See, your, your filter system will seek out evidence of the things that are in the filter system. It will seek out those things. So if I got a bunch of negative in my filter system, it's going to seek out negativity. It's going to seek it out, guys. If I got positive things in my filter system, it's going to seek out evidence of more positive things. So we got to do a financial checkup from the neck up 
to make sure what we're doing is the right activities. Because if I don't got $1,000 a month to invest, in my personal opinion, guys, you got the wrong activities. There's no reason why we shouldn't have $1,000 to invest in our financial future. Back to that video I did last night about retirement. I shared some pretty alarming statistics with the people who were on that live. Now, it's a, it's a video, so if you wanna go check it out, please do. But guys, do not get yourself to the golden years and, and, and be subject to just social security. What I'm gonna to talk to you about today will, will ensure that you have a really good pot of gold at the end of the rainbow and you ain't gotta worry about social security. If they give it to us, they give it to us. If they don't, they don't, right? I'm not gonna hang my hat on it though. I need to hang my hat on my assets that I build over these next 10 to 15 years, right? So $1,000 a month is what we're gonna start with. And we're gonna do that every single month for the next 10 years. Wow, Richard, that's a long time. Yeah, if it was easy to build wealth, guys, everybody would be at the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, right? But everybody ain't. It ain't easy, but that's okay. You can do it. I did it. I'm no smarter than you. I just found something to hold on to that was more important than my fear. So when I got scared, when I saw my colleagues driving new cars and I was in my old car, I just held on to what was important to me. I held on to my, that end game. I held on to that result. I found something in my life more important to me than my fear. You'll have to find something more important in your life than your fear, guys. See, building wealth is about courage. All right, it's about courage. Building wealth is about doing things that I may not want to do, but I'm gonna do them anyways because I want to get to the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow and get this lifestyle I want. It's about courage. It's about courage, guys. Here's the nice thing though. We all have courage. We just gotta go find it. We gotta dig deep down inside of us and pull that courage out of us. Just like I tell you guys at the end of every video, never stop believing in yourself. Keep chasing your greatness. See, we all got greatness in us too. We got courage inside of us and we got greatness inside of us. Whether you're gonna pull that courage and greatness out of you is up to you. I'm gonna pull mine out every day, every day. I'm gonna pull courage out and I'm gonna pull greatness out. Every single day, I'm pulling it out. I'm gonna be better today than I was yesterday. That's the attitude you gotta take, guys. Remember, we are glass half full people. We're not gonna be glass half empty people. That's not gonna be us. We're gonna be glass half full. We're gonna be go-getters. We're gonna, we're gonna pull this courage out of us. We're gonna pull this greatness out of us. We're gonna build this wealth. And we're gonna get to that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And we're gonna enjoy our lifestyle, right? And then guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna take those assets and make sure we pass them down to generations to come and start creating some generational wealth for our families. We can do it, guys. We just gotta get that right. All right, now let's move on to these assets. And then we're gonna wrap this thing up. Three assets you, I want you to consider because I'm not your financial advisor, so I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just a guy who says, listen, if you wanna copy my plan, I believe this plan is gonna work. How do I know that? Because it worked for 25 years already. Same plan, right? So all paper assets, ETFs, seven individual stocks. We're gonna take $1,000 a month and we're gonna buy them every single month. You split it up how you wanna split it up. But SPLG is an S&P 500 ETF that tracks the S&P 500 index. It's trading at about $58 a share, right? FTEC is a information technology ETF that tracks the information technology sector. It's trading at about $152 a share, right? And then we got the seven individual stocks, like I mentioned, which are the Magnificent Seven, right? That's Apple, 
Microsoft, Meta, Amazon, Alphabet, NVIDIA, and Tesla. They're all trading at different price per share, guys. So you don't have to buy all seven. Maybe you go pick your two or three of them, like Amazon, Alphabet, right? Maybe Apple, right? Get your three or four of them and buy them consistently. If you can afford to, buy all seven. Now, the app I'm going to be using to do that is going to be the Moomoo -Moo app. Right? If you got a different app you want to use, do, do, use whatever you want to use. The key is, is it needs to be an app that will allow you to buy these investments. And it needs to be user friendly. Right? And, and not charge you any fees. So whatever app you got, if it fits into that category, great. If it doesn't, think about the Moomoo -Moo app that I'm using. Like I said, there's a link down in the description box for that Moomoo -Moo app, that Moomoo -Moo brokerage account. And the good news is, if you put $100 in the brokerage account, they'll give you five free stocks. If you put $1,000 in the brokerage account, which is what we're gonna be putting in, because that's what we're gonna do for the next 10 years, then they're gonna give you 15 free stocks. So not only are you gonna have a, a world-class brokerage app that I use, you're also gonna get free stocks to put into your brokerage account. So then you can start taking that $1,000 and considering SPLG, FTEC, and the Magnificent Seven. We're gonna do that every month, month after month, year after year, for 10 years. Richard, I ain't gonna do it for 10 years. Then don't do it for 10 years. Do it for however long you want to. But it's my blueprint. It's my plan. So that's how long I'm doing it. So for those of you who want to copy my plan 100%, copy it. For those of you who want to copy my plan 50%, copy it 50%. For those of you who want to copy my plan 0%, then don't copy it all. That's up to you. I'm not telling you you have to copy my plan. I'm telling you if you'd like to, that's the plan. If you'd like to try Moo Moo, link down in the description box. That's it, guys. I'm just giving you options. Let's not get it twisted. At the end of the day, it's your plan. You do whatever you need to do to build wealth. But in 10 years, one thing I can almost guarantee you, if whatever activities you're doing right now and you don't change them and you broke, you ain't at the net worth number you want to be at, you, 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 you ain't got the type of money you want in your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. You better change something or you're going to 10 years from now, you're going to be in the same spot. Only thing going to happen is you're going to be older. Probably got more debt. Right? So what you got to do is work on your attitude and then work on your money and then work on your investing. Three-step process. Work on my attitude so that I'm ready to invest. See, a, a thing you got to understand, guys, is you have to prepare yourself to be an investor. You don't just wake up one morning and become an investor. I know a lot of people think they do, but you don't. You don't just wake up one morning to become an investor. You actually have to mentally prepare yourself for what you're going to have to go through as an investor. Because it's, it's, it's traumatic when you put money into something and then all of a sudden you look at it and the money you put in is less than what you put in. You, you got to be mentally ready for that. And if you're not mentally ready, you're just going to sell everything prematurely. See, the stock market is up and down. You know, you're going to have some red days. You're going to have some green days. You just got to understand that comes with the territory. But history tells me I'm going to have more green days than red days. So guess what? You're going to have to trust the process. But if you're not mentally ready for that, you'll quit. If you don't have some type of indication of what's waiting at the end of that rainbow for me, if I keep doing this, you're going to quit. If you don't have some compelling reason to keep going when the tough gets rough, you'll quit. You better hang your hat on something that means more to you than your fear. Investing is not for the, you know, the people who are 
fearful, it's really for the people who know how to overcome their fear. I'm, I, I get scared, guys, but I know how to overcome my fear. I know how to overcome my fear when I get scared, right? If I get scared and I'm looking at my investment and I'm getting scared, I'm like, oh, golly, man, that thing is, woo, that thing $10 a share down. Oh, golly, guess what I do? I just say to myself, Richard, what is the historical performance of this investment? How long has this investment been around? And, and then I'm quickly back on track. Because see, that's what I hang my hat on, guys, is history. I told y'all, I'm, I'm just a history buff when it comes to my investments. I'm not a know-all, be-all, but I am a history guy because I'll go look at the history. I ain't got to understand all of it. I ain't trying to understand all of it. All the thing I'm trying to understand is if I'm going to put this money in here for 10 years, what has it done the last 10 years? That's pretty plain and simple, but that's, that's historical data. I'm not trying to go through and look at who on the board of directors and blah, blah, blah. blah. I ain't trying to do all that. I don't care anything about that. All I care about is how long it's been around. Has it multiplied money for people through its past performance? What is it going to charge me to put my money in the fund? That's all I care about. All the rest of that stuff, smoke and mirrors. I don't care anything about that. That don't mean you don't have to care about it. You can go, hey man, you want to go down that rabbit hole? Go all the way down to the core of the rabbit hole. I don't really care. I'm not going down that rabbit hole. All I care about is, has it multiplied money in the past? And how long has it been multiplying money? That's it. So those are the three assets that I would recommend you guys considering. But again, don't put your money in any of that stuff, man, until you get your mental right. Oh, I'm going to get my mental right. So I got to read a lot of books. I got to listen to uh, all these podcasts on YouTube where everybody telling me this and that and this and that. I don't know who to believe. Believe yourself. Take the information in and then believe yourself. I'm not sure why we don't do more of that. You know, take that information in and just believe yourself. Don't worry about believing everybody on YouTube. Take in the information, decide what you want to do, and do it. Remember, trust yourself. Have some courage. You're great. You can do this. What I don't want to see happen is 10 years from now, you're in the same spot you're in today. All I'm asking you guys is to consider building some wealth, buying back all of your time, buying back your financial power, buying back your financial destiny. That's the key, guys. If we never get to that point, I don't see how we win financially long term. If I get to the golden years and the only income I have is from Social Security, then I lost. I didn't do what I was supposed to do. See, Social Security, guys, was never intended to take care of you. It's intended to be a supplemental income to your main income. Your main income should come from your investments, right? That's your main income that you should be living off of when you get to the golden years. Not Social Security. It's a supplement. That's why they ain't going to give you but a couple thousand dollars a month. Now, for most of us, a couple thousand dollars a month ain't going to make it, guys. Not to live the lifestyle that we... We should be living, not the lifestyle that my creator said I should be living. See, my creator put me here to prosper and be a king. Y'all have heard me say that before. He put me here to be a king and to prosper. He didn't put me here to, to, to barely make it. If I'm barely making it, that's my fault. Because there's opportunity all around us to do whatever you want to do if you're willing to grab it. If you're willing to have courage. If you're willing to be a glass half full person, not a glass half empty person. If you're willing to only allow positivity into your filter system, knowing that positivity will come out. It's up to you guys. At the end of the day, all this investment talk means nothing unless you have positioned yourself in your mind between these two ears. If you haven't positioned yourself to win, then you won't win. If you think you're going to lose, you will lose. That's the way the world works. Well, guys, I appreciate you. I appreciate you tapping in. I appreciate you 
being a part of this video, live stream, whatever you want to call it, lock it in with a thumbs up, guys, if you appreciate the content. Lock it in with a thumbs up to let me know you appreciate the content. Like I said, every morning, Lord's will, and I got whether that participates, not even, it ain't got nothing to do with the weather because I just do the live stream from my, my house like I've done before. So I'm going to do a live stream every morning, Lord's will. I'm going to do a live stream every evening, Lord's will. And then I'm going to do an edited video throughout the day. So y'all going to get three doses of me, Lord's will, every single day. I get it. Everybody can't tap into everything. I'm, on, I'm understanding. But if you can tap in, if you can go back later on in the afternoon and catch the live stream when it's on video, then catch it. I'm trying to give you these golden nuggets so that you can get yourself to your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Just about these golden nuggets, man. Take what you need. Leave what you don't need. That's simple. But lock it in with a thumbs up if you don't mind. If you want up to 15 free stocks from Moomoo, Moo, guys, I need you to click on that link down in the description box. Open up that Moomoo Moo account today. They're going to give you 15 free stocks when you're funded. So go ahead and do that for me. Do that for yourself, more importantly. You ain't got to do it for me, but do it for yourself so that you can take $1,000 a month and start buying these three assets I just gave you to build yourself some wealth. Lock it in again, guys, with a thumbs up if you don't mind before you get out of here. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. Stay healthy, get wealthy, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. Peace.